Well, happy Saturday. This is Sherry Brandell, the founder of Style by Color. Today is a good one because we are going to get to answer a question that one of you wrote in about. And this question comes from Sandy. And her question is, how do you decide what trends are right for you? Well, I think that's a great question. And if you have a question that you would like me to answer on this channel, just send it in to ask Sherry at stylebycolor.com. And we may get to your question right here on air. And the reason we pick the ones that we do is because we want to choose one that we feel others would benefit from knowing the answer. Well, today's answer has five parts to it. So how do you know what trends are right for you? Well, number one, have a trustworthy source. And Sandy, I hope that I'm that person for you because there are lots of places that we can get our trend reports from. But if you follow Style by Color, I am always going to bring to you the trends that I feel are the most wearable trends and the ones that across the board, those of you who watch my channel are in our communities, use our digital products, are in the Closet Outfit Planner community, use that product. I'm gonna look for the trends that are right for you and that's what we're also going to put in that planner. And so I think that's super important and I wouldn't have all kinds of resources. I would choose one or two and stick with that so you have that trustworthy source. All right, number two. There are current trends that are right off of the runways, but I wouldn't share them with you because I really don't want you walking around in them. And so, for example, a few weeks ago, I shared about the long gloves and I put those on there and I said, you know, somebody could be brave and wear them with your Easter dress because they're not as crazy and out there as some of the trends that are. Take a look at these three. First one is the micro mini dress and it's a, an ode to the 60s and I don't think my target market, those of you who watch this channel, uh, who, who follow Style by Color, I don't think you're wearing mini dresses to church on Sunday. And so that's not something I'm going to recommend to you. The next uh, trend is fringe. And a lot of fringe, fringe hanging off your bags, fringe hanging off of your clothes. It's just not a trend that I would recommend for you. We might see it on the you know New York runway, but we're not going to see it on the streets or at Walmart. And well, it might be at Walmart. You never know what you find there. And then the, the next trend that I'm not going to recommend to you is what they're calling the layer cake. Oh, yes, indeed. It's where they're layering up all kinds of pieces. And, uh, you know, it's like layer on layer on layer and you look like a layer cake. And so you're just not going to find that for me unless we're doing something fun like this. Number three. What are some current trends that actually do look good on everyone? I just picked three so I could just remind you, and we've gone over these in the, in the past, over the past couple of videos. Uh, I, I've talked about some trends, but and they're in the Closet Outfit Planner. But three that I think are very wearable are the lace and the cut work which is absolutely beautiful. It's kind of what I have on today. This is a cut work uh, top. I do have a, a shell on underneath, otherwise you would see through it. And sheer details. Now, sheer details might show up in a skirt or the whole bodice of an outfit. Well, we don't want you to do that, but what about sheer sleeves? That would be a great way to wear that trend. But those are all trends that I think would look good on everyone. Again, how do you know what trends are right for, for you? You've got to have your trusted source. Number four, try wearing a trend with a core piece, a classic piece that might be in your wardrobe. It's a great way to experiment with a trend. Maybe it's the cut work or the lace. Like I have here, this pink uh, blouse. It's kind of a, a top. It looks kind of like a jacket as well. It's a, it's a pullover, but uh, it's a, it's, it's hot pink. Wear it with a classic pair of trousers. 
white trousers. It's a great way to try out trends. Instead of overloading on trends, I would say maybe do one or two at a time. You know, you could always get your, wear your handbag that's on trend. But if it comes to pieces, working it that way, I think is a wonderful way to do that. And then number five, experiment. Just experiment. Try something that you would ever think that you would try before and put it on. Try it out. Go to the store. Go to the local boutiques and put some things on and see, huh, what do I think in this? But, you know, it's just a fun way to try something new and not actually having to take it home, right? So you put it on, you take it in the dressing room and think, would I wear this? I don't know if I would wear this but you could try it out that way. I loved your question, Sandy. Thank you for asking it. And for those of you who are not subscribed to this channel, please do just hit that little red button below and uh, subscribe. We have a video every Saturday and we always try to bring very relevant information to you so that you know how to dress and look your very best no matter where you're going or what occasion it is. And if you don't have the closet outfit planner yet, come on, you guys, go to stylebycolor.com, grab your spring planner because it's amazing. For those of you, do you have your spring planner? If you do, tell us below. Is it not just incredible? All right, until next week, I will see you then. Bye-bye.